Hey what's up guys, welcome to TechRate Reviews. Today I'm going to be doing a what's on my Android phone video. I did one early in the year but I've really changed a lot since then and I've also got a new phone so a lot has changed so I want to show you this update. Before I begin, I just want to let you know all of links to all of these apps down below in the description. If you can't already tell, I'm running Nova Launcher with the Stark icon pack. On every home screen, I have the Clock JB Plus Clock widget and Google Now. I also have the Battery Widget Reborn Beta widget. Going down my home screen, I have the Settings, Play Store, Android Central, that's where I get most of my Android news, a File Manager, I use Astro File Manager. I really like its integration with cloud services such as Dropbox and Google Drive. Here I have the Calculator JB app. It's based off the stock Android Jelly Bean app. It's really nice and it has added graphing functionality. Google Drive for Word documents. Keep for quick notes. I have Camera JB Plus once again so it looks more like stock. I like its features and it looks really nice. Over here I have Feedly. This is where I manage all my RSS feeds. I use Google Play Music for all of my music. It's all in the cloud. None of it is on my device. Up here I have Wolfram Alpha. This is probably one of the most underrated apps. It can really answer any question you want in any of these categories. It handles the most complex equations with no problem and it's really easy to use. Going to my left home screen, up top I have Duolingo. This is a really good app to help you learn a language. On the right right here I have the Eye in the Sky app which is this widget right here. Going down I have ROM Toolbox Pro. If you guys know anything about Android and rooting, you know how powerful of an application this is. It really lets you take complete control of your phone. Downloads, Google Maps for navigation, SwiftKey is my choice of keyboard, and I'll go into the theme and layout. I use the Cobalt theme. Down here I have Tesla LED. This is what I use as my flashlight app. Photoshop Touch. This is a really powerful application. It gives you a lot of the Photoshop experience on your phone. It's obviously not nearly as powerful as the desktop version, but you can do a lot, and it's definitely the most powerful mobile photo editor. Over here I have LG's Quick Remote app. I don't really like how it looks, but it does work the best, and I'm turning up the volume on my Mac right now. And lastly, I have the Google Translate app. And on my last home screen for widgets, I once again have these two, and I also have the Google Keep widget. I really like it if you need to get a quick note down. Starting on the top, I have the Dictionary app. Perfectly clear, this is another photo editing app. Its main purpose is to get rid of cloudiness in photos, but they've also added some really advanced photo editing features. CNET I also use for tech news. Then I have my flashlight widget right here. And going to the right I have Google Wallet, which I use for mobile payments. This app right here is called Trigger. It's really powerful. I've done a whole video showing how you can use it with NFC tags, but basically it lets you program NFC tags so when you tap it, it'll complete a series of predefined actions. It's kind of like Tasker, but it's triggered by NFC tags. And my contacts app, Google Calendar, really nice, keeps everything in sync. Going to the right, I have the Camera JB Plus Gallery. This came bundled with the Camera JB Plus app. And last but definitely not least is Tasker. This is probably one of the most powerful Android applications ever built in my opinion. It allows you to completely automate your phone. I use it for tons of things. I even have a whole series on my channel devoted to showing you cool tips and tricks with it. Definitely check that out. Before I go into my app drawer in my dock, I have the KitKat dialer, which definitely is improvement over LG's dialer. This is also available for free on the Play Store. Then over here I have Gmail. This is the app drawer icon, I've changed it. Over here I'm running Chrome Beta version 32. And then I have Hangouts, which I use for SMS and video calling. I've also enabled a background for the dock, which is part of the stock icon pack. I forgot to mention, this is the Sunbeam Live wallpaper. This is usually only shipped on the Google Play Edition phones. It's available on the Play Store. I'll leave some links. If you guys don't recognize some of these apps, I've changed some icons and they don't really resemble their original one. My first app is Amazon, which I use to order everything and track packages. Android Central I've been over. And Tutu is probably the most comprehensive benchmarking app. It tests everything about your phone, from graphics to multitasking. As you can see, my phone did pretty good on this one with that Snapdragon 800. Bloomstar Defense, it's just a strategy game. I use a browser when I don't want to log out of my main Gmail account, but I need to access some Google services with a different email account. I also keep the stock LG camera app in my app drawer. It has some more features the Gallery JB Plus just doesn't have. 
Next, I have cam scan. It allows you to take a really high quality scan of any paper just by taking a picture of it. This is the Android Device Manager, which has been built into Android phones for a few versions now, but Google just released a version on the Play Store. Going on to my second page, I have my Dropbox app. I don't really use this much, if anything, it's to exchange files quickly between my phone and computer. After that, I have the DScout app. This is part of Project Ara. It allows you to submit your ideas and join a community of people devoted to developing this Project Ara. For those of you who don't know what Project Ara is, I'll leave some links down below in the description, but it's basically the idea for a modular phone. This next app, iPrint App Lock Beta. From the name, you can tell it is in beta stages, but the technology behind it is still very impressive. As of now, it doesn't let you use it as a password for your phone, but it lets you use it as an app locker. So if I try and open up a certain app, such as Google Drive, which I've set it to, it will use the phone's front-facing camera to scan the pattern of the veins in my eye. This is just like a fingerprint. It is unique just to you and no one else. Foxfy is my main app for a mobile hotspot. I really like how much control it gives you over the hotspot you're making. Geekbench, another benchmarking app. Then you just have Google Now, Google Settings, Google Plus, Granny Smith, it's a pretty fun game. I have a hotspot shield if you're connected to unsecure Wi-Fi in a public place. This, this will help make your connection more secure so you don't have to worry about hackers. Ingress is probably the coolest game ever made. It's an augmented reality app. In the game, you join either the Resistance or the Enlightened, and you're basically battling over portals to see who controls more of the world. I've already showed you these apps, so I'm just going to skip along. Here I have the stock AT&T mobile hotspot app. Sometimes Foxfy just doesn't work, but this seems to, so I use that every now and then. Buy AT&T just to manage the data plan. Navigation for navigation. Netflix for watching movies. Need for Speed is a pretty good racing game, not really my favorite. Even though I basically use Playbooks for most of my reading, I do use the Nook app sometimes. Even though I don't really read on my phone much, it's really helpful for managing the books. Going on to the last page, I have Quizlet, which is helpful for studying. Next, I have Riptide GP2. This is a really high-quality racing game. The graphics are probably the best of any game I've seen yet, and it has some really good multiplayer support. Here I have Speed Test, which I use for testing data speeds. The Stark Icon Pack, which I'm running now. Here I have Tap Talk. This is really good for viewing forums. And I have USA Today for news. That's basically all that's on my Android phone. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you really like this. If you guys want to show off what's in your Android phone, you can leave a link down below in the description. Please make sure to like and subscribe, it really helps out.